off the silver screen. We're taking a mini vacay from the countdown for the most famous RV of all time. This RV is Mega Hollywood, the coach from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's Christmas time year round for Atlanta residents Bob and Judy Boston, since they snagged this 72 Ford Condor made famous by Cousin Eddie in the movie. The lady I bought it from was about 80. She said it was a movie vehicle used in a Christmas movie with Chevy Chase. That's all she knew. They bought the RV from a collector in Arizona for just $7,500, then spent more than three grand in gas and repairs to take it cross country. The only thing green about this vehicle is the amount of cash it takes to fill it up. Bob and Judy studied stills from the film to restore this RV to Tinseltown glory. We tried to keep everything exactly the way it was in the movie, Kansas Plates, 1989, the year of the movie. They slapped mud on the windows and wheels and paw prints on the door from Cousin Eddie's dog, Snot. <laughs> Because it's simulating mud, we didn't want to just have a flat paint. So we wanted to have something that had some three-dimensional, so we actually put some plasticine in this. This is impervious to pretty much anything. I don't think you could take this off with lacquer thinner now. It's been on there for six years. They decked it out with period Christmas lights, wreaths, and of course, duct tape to hold it all together, just like Eddie would have done it. And last, but certainly not least, the most talked about plumbing in the history of RVs. Everybody wants to get a picture holding this tube. It's amazing. Merry Christmas. That is unbelievable. No way. This is going to be our Christmas card. About 20% of people seem to know what it is right off because you get a thumbs up and a smile. You can tell when they recognize it. The other end of the spectrum is if you pull up at a stoplight beside a lady in a minivan, she is not making eye contact with you no matter what. No way. Dude, that's the Cousin Eddie Mobile. <laughs> Dude, I love that thing. Oh, man. That's awesome. The movie never showed the interior, but Judy used her imagination. All I did was think, what would Eddie do? And I just went from there. This is the boudoir. Catherine's side over here, which is very nice and neat. And then we have Eddie's side. Everything is hot glued to stay in place when this Christmas on wheels rambles down the road. This is stuck in 1989, just like the movie, and it always will be. I'm going to keep it like this forever. It's the hit of everyone. It makes everybody smile, and that's the most fun about the whole thing.